Are you thinking about moving to the Central Florida area, but you're not sure where to live? Well, if you're looking for an area that's close to a lot of the Orlando attractions, has easy access to the main roads for travel, plenty of shopping options, plenty of food choices, a date night without driving too far, highly rated schools, tons of recreational outdoor activities, and one of the safest areas in Orlando, then stay tuned. I have a perfect place for you to consider. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel where I share videos of what it's like to live, eat, sleep, and play in the Central Florida area. If there's anything you would like to know more about, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to help. So today I'm going to share with you why so many people love Dr. Phillips. This area is known for being an affluent community in the Orlando metro area. Time Magazine even rated Dr. Phillips as one of the best places to live. So let's see why. The location is one of the main reasons people love living here because it's located so close to everything. It's in the southwest portion of Orlando. It's only 11 miles from downtown Orlando and 16 miles from Orlando International Airport. And it's just five miles from Disney. Also, Universal Studios is right around the corner. It's approximately three miles. As far as the population and demographics, Dr. Phillips has a diverse population. Out of a little over 12,000 people, 66% are white. Also, the education is a priority here, with 93% having a high school diploma or higher, and 49% have bachelor's degrees or higher. The median age is 44, and 57% of the residents are under the age of 50. You'll find young families and couples that are drawn to this area. In fact, the statistics show in Niche.com that Dr. Phillips is the number one suburb in Orange County for young professionals and number six best suburb to raise a family. And we know a lot of people moved to Florida to retire, so 29% of the residents are older than 60 years old here. This area ranks an A-plus for amenities. It has everything you need, including hospitals, a public library, the YMCA for families, great schools and plenty of parks, shopping and food. If you love to shop, you'll have plenty of options here. One being the marketplace, which is just one of the shopping plazas in the area. And this one features a variety of national retailers such as Home Goods, public grocery stores, Chipotle, and just other different restaurants. You'll also find a Trader Joe's and Whole Foods in the Dr. Phillips area, which seems to be a favorite for a lot of people. You have Walmart or a grocery store as well outside of Publix. If you prefer a day of upscale shopping, then you have the Mall of Millennia, which is about six miles away. Not only is there plenty of shopping, there's plenty of food. Dr. Phillips is home to what we call the famous Restaurant Row. There's more than two dozen restaurants, including upscale and casual options from a variety of cuisines from all over the world. No matter what your food choice is, you'll find it along the whole mile strip of Sand Lake. There's steak and seafood, American cuisines, Japanese and sushi, Italian, Mediterranean, Greek, Turkey, Turkish, sorry, delis, all kinds of stuff. So it's something for everyone and it also makes it a great place for a date night. And other than the food and the shopping, the outdoor recreational activities here are endless around this area. If you're a nature lover, a fitness enthusiast, or simply enjoy spending time outdoors, you'll love this location because Dr. Phillips has a lot of parks. Besides the main theme parks, you'll find nature parks for biking and walking. There's trails and you have a lot of recreational facilities. One of the most popular outdoor attractions is Dr. Phillips Community Park, which has a splash pad, a dog park area for the fur babies to run, a long walking path, picnic area, and even sports fields. All this comes a price. The cost of living in Dr. Phillips is 15% higher than the U.S., with the largest expense being the housing cost. Homes here are 36% more expensive than the average U.S. home. 
Dr. Phillips consists of two zip codes. There's 32819, which is on the north side, and 32836 is far the south by the theme parks. The homes here were built in the late 1900s and early 2000s, so it's not uncommon to see some renovated homes, along with very few newer homes as well. There's a variety of diverse housing from stylish townhomes to condos, single-family homes, elegant estates to modern design with well-maintained surroundings. The median sale price for a home in the 32819 area is around $670,000 and a little over $900,000 in the other zip code area. So, but it goes well into billions, depending on the community that you choose. There's a number of unique communities in the Dr. Phillips area that provides lots of options for families. You can pick from a gated community or non-gated, HOA or no HOA, and each area has different amenities. Some neighborhoods have amenities such as pools, fitness center, playgrounds, tennis and pickleball courts, and golf courses, if that's what you like. If you want to live by the rolling golf greens, the Butler Chain of Lakes, or Disney, then Dr. Phillips is a great spot. It's hard to find so many perks all in one location, but Dr. Phillips has it. The crime rate is also low here. Dr. Phillips is 70% lower than the national average, and it's safer than 73% of the cities in the United States. In fact, year over year, the crime rate in Dr. Phillips has decreased by 15%. And if you have children and the schools are a priority for you, then this is a perfect location because Dr. Phillips schools are highly rated and it's home to some of the region's top tier schools offering diverse curriculums and plenty of after school programs. Here's a fun fact. Dr. Phillips is named after a doctor who purchased this land and made it an orange grove. He's the first to sell oranges by the pound and make orange juice in a way that we could enjoy it. So if you're one that loves drinking orange juice in the morning, he's to thank for that. Five years before he passed away, he sold his business to Minute Maid, and his name was Philip Phillips. I'll briefly go over a few neighborhoods in this area, and I'll start with Phillips Landing. This is an affluent community in Dr. Phillips, and it's made up of three different neighborhoods, which has some average home prices of about right over a million making it one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the Dr. Phillips area. The home sizes here vary from 2,000 square feet to a little over 9,000 and ranging anywhere from 500,000 up to 3.5 million. This community offers a variety in price and size. It's gated and monitored 24 seven by a guard, so it makes it a very safe place to live. And if you're looking to live close to or on a lake and enjoy water sports, you'll find that here. You'll find lakefront homes with a boating dock, a playground. That's available to all of the residents, along with the tennis court and basketball court. The HOA fees here will vary depending on which neighborhood you're in. Another popular area is Orange Tree, which is also a gated community. This community has over 500 homes that were built from 1976 to 1993, with square footage ranging from 1,400 to over 3,500 usually about two to five bedrooms in this area. It's a gated entrance, has golf community, golf clubhouse, fitness center, community pool, tennis courts, pickleball courts, racquetball, and a basketball court. So there's plenty to do here. The average price is around 780,000. Some properties in the neighborhood have private swimming pools and some could enjoy the golf course in their backyards. Then we have a very highly sought after area called Bay Hill. This is a neighborhood that's situated adjacent to Dr. Phillips on the west side, and this area is associated with our famous golf legend, Arnold Palmer. So this area is a lot about golf. In this community, you'll find single family homes, condominium, larger estate homes, and lakefront properties. They range from 400,000 and well into the millions. You're located around the Butler Chain of Lakes, so you'll find beautiful waterfront homes and plenty of water activities, along with golfing. The media listing home price at Bay Hill is $1.2 million at the time of this recording in 2024. The square footage of the condos and homes here range from 1000 to 1400 plus. They're built anywhere from 1965 to 2014, and there is a homeowner's association fee but it varies depending on the neighborhood that you're in and the amenities that you have. 
And last but not least is Sand Lake Hills. It is a tight-knit community in Dr. Phillips and it's ideal for young families. Sand Lake Hills is one of the best Dr. Phillips neighborhoods for more than one reason. The community is tight-knit and the homes are affordable. In fact, this is one of the most affordable neighborhoods you'll find in Dr. Phillips. Most homes were built in the 70s and 80s, but have been well-maintained, and many of the homes have been renovated. This area has just over a thousand homes that range from three to five bedrooms, with the living area from 1,600 to a little over 3,000 square feet. A lot of these homes have private pools. This neighborhood is known for its excellent value and great location. The home price in Sand Lake Hills, Orlando is averaging around $500,000 at the time of this recording. You'll find a low HOA, which is around $100 annually, but you don't have amenities. However, you are close to the Dr. Phillips Community Park that I just talked about earlier. Sand Lake Hills is one of the most desired Dr. Phillips neighborhoods. So that wraps up Dr. Phillips. If this sounds like a location you would like to know more about, then give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. My information is in the description below. I would love to be your realtor of choice. And if you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Central Florida area, be sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified when a new video comes on. And I do videos weekly. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up so other people can locate the video as well. Until next time, you guys take care.